Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about um, cyclic uh, fermentation and the other types of fermentation, and we'll be also solving some um, problems about um, cyclic and the other fermentations. Okay, so first, we have the definition for cyclic fermentation. So, this is the definition this is for cyclic cyclic fermentation so the number of fermentation of in objects so because it is cyclic so that's why it is arranged in a circle is n minus 1 okay. for example if you are going to find the number of fermentations fermentations that 12 persons can be seated in a round table so so that will be a cyclic fermentation problem so if you are going to solve for that so you have um, for example, your this, this problem, your n is equal to 12 because you have 12 persons. So your fermentation, so that is p, that will be equal to n minus 1 factorial, which is equal to 12 minus 1 factorial, which is equal to 11 factorial. So if you are going to... Um, use your calculator in getting the 11 factorial so you have 11 factorial okay so that will be equal to will be equal to 3 uh, 39 million over here 39 million nine hundred sixteen thousand eight hundred fermentations so that is how you will use this formula if the problem talk is talking about a cyclic fermentation so we, in this problem the clue that is it is a cyclic fermentation is that the term round table okay so next we will have the fermentation of distinct objects, so taking one at a time. So we have the number of distinct fermentation of n things, of which n one are one of a, one one of kind, n two a second kind, and n to the k is the k k of kind. So meaning you have a certain um a certain element or a certain part of the fermentation which is repeated. So that is the uh, there is a re repetition on your fermentation so the formula will be this one so n factorial is equal to n sub 1 factorial n sub 2 factorial that that n sub k factorial so this will be the formula for that one okay so your n sub 1 n sub 2 and n sub k are those uh, are the number of of um, are the number in which the the number of times or which the element has been repeated okay so to have a clear understanding of that we will have an example okay so we have in a college football training session the defensive coordinator needs to have 10 players standing in a row among these 10 players there are one freshman two sophomore four juniors and three seniors so how many different ways can they be arranged in a row if only their class level will be distinguished okay so we have here our solution okay so we have 10 players so our n is equal to 10 <coughs> then we are going to arrange this one depending on their um, class level so we have freshmen sophomores juniors and seniors so our n sub 1 will ha will be 1 for freshmen and sub 2 will be 2 for sophomore and sub 3 will be 4 for juniors and n sub 
uh, four will be three for seniors. So if we're going to get our fermentation, that will be n factorial over n sub one factorial, n sub two factorial, n sub three factorial, and n sub four factorial. So we have we have 10 players so our n is 10 factorial over so n sub 1 that will be 1 factorial times n2 so n sub 2 2 factorial we have 4 factorial and 3 factorial so our p now is if you're going to use our calculator again okay so let's just use our calculator So we have 10 factorial over 1 factorial times 2 factorial. So you need to put times in your calculator or the multiplication symbol because it will have a syntax error if you will not put the um, multiplication symbol 3 okay so be equal to 12,600 so this will be equal to 12,600 so arrangement or race race and this will be your answer Okay, next we will have another example. How many different letter arrangement can be made from the letters in the word in the word a statistics? Okay, so solution. So this is the most familiar problem in the board exam. When you have a certain word word that you need to arrange, find the arrangement of the letters, and the word has repeated letters itself. Okay, so first is we need to find our n. That's why. We, that is the how how many letters are are there in the word so we need to count first so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so our n is equal to ten so let's just double check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then we need to find letters that are repeated okay so it's just have up to n3 so first s so s is repeated how many times one two three so our n1 is that is the number of times that s is repeated that will be three next is 40 one two three so three also 40 and lastly is i so one two okay so if you are going to get our fermentation, so P is equal to N factorial over uh, N sub 1 factorial, N sub 2 factorial, and N sub 3 factorial. So we have 10 factorial over 3 factorial times 3 factorial times 2 factorial. So our answer will be, so we now enlist the help of our calculator so we have 10 factorial over 3 factorial times 3 factorial times 2 factorial and we have 50,400 different arrangements. So we have 50,400 arrangements. So this will be our answer. Okay, now we will go to partitioning. So Partitioning is another way of getting the uh, fermentation of a certain object, especially if the object itself is to be partitioned or, or is, is to be grouped. So it is sometimes called as group fermentation. So the number of ways of partitioning a set of n objects into r cells, so that's why you have n, then your n is grouped into r, with n sub 1 elements in the first cell, n sub 2 elements in the second, 
second and so forth is equal to we have that symbol so n uh, n n1 n2 so partition up to n sub r so it's equal to n factorial over n1 factorial n2 factorial and n sub r factorial where n sub 1 and n sub 2 plus plus up to n sub r is equal to n so you just grouping the or you just uh, group the the n objects or the objects that you are going to get the partition in a certain way which is uh, for this one is the r so if it is grouped four times you the partition is grouped four times so that's why you have up to n sub 4 factorial okay so to understand better this concept we will have a a example here so in how many ways can seven graduate students be assigned to one triple and two double hotel rooms during a conference okay so the the students now are group group into one triple so you have one which is a triple room and a two double room so if you are when you say one triple so meaning in a single room the three students can fit in in a double room so two students can fit, fit in so how how will you picture out the grouping of the students okay so solution so our n here is um, seven okay seven so our n sub one the first grouping so it is a triple room so we have three because three students can fit on that n sub two that will be the first of two double rooms so you have two then the n sub three the last one the last double room two two students can fit in so you have two so now you are going to get the permutation so you have n factorial over n sub 1 factorial n sub 2 factorial n sub 3 factorial okay so the number of groupings is 1 2 3 so 3 so your r is 3 you are grouping the uh, students uh, the graduate students into three groups okay so you have n here is 7 factorial over 3 factorial 2 factorial and 2 factorial so using our handy calculator okay so let's just first make our calculator appear on the screen okay so we have 7 factorial over 2 factorial oh no 3 sorry of course it could be um because it is multiplication you could type in either of 3 2 because it is the answer will just be the same that is one of the property of multiplication okay we have then you have 210 so you have 210 ways and this will be your answer so the the answer for this problem is that you could have a 210 arrangements in which the seven graduate students can be assigned into one triple and two double room uh, two double hotel rooms so lastly we will have combination no? so the number of combination of n distinct objects taken r at a time is uh, that is ncr or n r is equal to n factorial over r factorial um, quantity n minus r factorial so the other designation for this one is um, n cr is equal to n factorial over r factorial n minus r factorial so this is the most common designation for combination so this one is from the book so this is the the designation of the book so but we are we are commonly used for this type of designation so the the combination is also defined is also defined as an arrangement of the selection of object regardless of the order so meaning we are not um, particular with 
the order okay so for so if we we are just um, um, concerned on how they will be um, arranged and not with the order itself so that is combination okay but compared to fermentation so fermentation is an ordered arrangement of affinite number of elements so there is order so we are concerned with the order in terms of fermentation but in combination we are not considering the order of the object so there is a derivation of this formula but uh, that will be uh, somewhat uh, longer or will make this video longer because we, we are just um, having the concept applied to certain problems but I will try to create another video for the derivation of this um, formula okay so let's have an example here so a young boy Ask his mother to get five Game Boy, so trademark. So that will be trademark. If this will be published to Facebook, so we have the trademark sign here. Uh, Game Boy cartridges from his collection of ten arcade and five sport games. No, so how many ways are there that is his that his mother can get three arcade arcade and and two sports games? Okay. So, the first is we are we will be getting the the problem itself has two um two that uh, uh two requirements. So first, we need to get the number of ways in which the boy could get the three arcade games. And the other one is two sports games, okay? So first, our solution is something wrong with my pen here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the solution. Okay, so first we need to find the number of ways that the three cartridges can be selected from uh, the Game Boy. So we have um, we have NPR uh, NCR here. So N. There's something wrong with my pen. Okay. So we have. N C R. Okay, so maybe this just. Okay, so I just fixed the problem on my uh, pen. Sorry for that. So we have. We'll continue. So solution. So first, we need to find the number of ways of selecting three cartridges from from ten. Okay, from ten. So, 3 cartridges from 10. So, we will have uh, NCR. So, our NCR is equal to, we have here our N factorial over R factorial times N minus R factorial. So, our N here will be 10 and our R will be equal to 3. So, this is for the arcade game. So, we have n factorial, so our n factorial is 10 factorial over uh, 3 factorial. We have 10 minus 3 factorial. So we have, so you, we will now use our calculator. So I will give you a, a, shortcut using our calculator here on how to solve for the combination but first we'll have the the computation as shown you have 10 factorial over 3 factorial times 
10 minus R factorial. So this will be equal to 120. So just right here. 120 ways. Okay? So the other one for that is to use the NCR. So the answer is this one, the second function of the divide um, button or divide keypad. So the first thing to do is to type in the end that is 10. Then shift the divide button. So the C will appear. appear. So R is equal to 3. So NCR. So we have 120. So you have the same answer. Now, for the next one, we are now selecting um, sports games. No? So, sports games. So, we have N, C, R. So, our N here is now 5 factorial over our R is 2 because we have 2 sports games. So, he is going to select 2 sports games. Then, you have 5 minus 2 factorial. This will be equal to so we have just use the shortcut. So that will be 5 NCR 2. This will be equal to 10. So you have 10, 10 ways. Now you are going to get the how many ways so the exact number of how many ways so this this is a um, mutually inclu inclusive event so they are inclusive so using multiplication rule so our the total number of combination is equal to the first one so that will be 120 times 10 and you have this will be 1200 ways okay let's just check times 120 okay and this now will be your answer so the problem states itself that there is no um order so that's why we'll use a uh, combination and the number of combination is 1200 ways okay And that will be all for this video and our uh, in introduction to fermentation and combination and also to prob probability. In the next video, we will be solving some problems, sample problems involving these concepts. And also, we will be uh, tackling more on the, on the applications of probability. So, thank you for watching this video and as always, have a good day.